Hello, welcome to Destined to Win Tutorials. Today we're going to be taking past questions from JAM on simultaneous equation. Here we have a JAM question from 2013, question 17. It says find the values of x and y respectively if 3x minus 5y plus 5 equal to 0 and 4x minus 7y plus 8 is equal to 0. So here let's just write this down. We have 3x minus 5y plus 5 equal to 0 and also 4x minus 7y plus 8 equal to 0. So here, let's simplify this. We have 3x minus 5y equal to minus 5 and 4x minus 7y equal to minus 8. This is equation 1 and this is equation 2. So from here, we have to ha have the same coefficient on both on the two equations. Let's say, for instance, we're cancelling x. So we have to make this coefficient the same. So we multiply the first equation by 4 and also multiply the second equation by 3. So here, what do we have? Multiplying 4 by all this, we have 12x minus 20y equal to minus 20. And we have what? 12x minus 21y equal to minus 24. So here, for this to cancel, since it's the same, the same coefficient now, to cancel, we just introduce a minus. So in min minus, in this will give us a zero. The minus will affect all the signs here. So this will turn to a plus, plus, and this will turn to a plus. So minus 20 plus 21 will give us a y. And also minus 20 plus 24 will give us a 4. So from here, we have y is equal to 4. So we put the value of y equal to 4 into equation. You can choose any equation. I prefer to choose equation 1. So here we have 3x minus 5y equal to minus 5. This is equation 1. So let's put in the value. We have 3x minus 5 bracket 4 equal to minus 5. This is 3x minus 20 equal to minus 5. So we have 3x equal to minus 5. Taking 20 to the other side, we have 20 plus 20. This is 3x equal to 15. Minus 5 plus 20 is 15. Divided by 3 and divided by 3. Our x is 5. So therefore, respectively, x is equal to 5 and y is equal to for we have to be careful we have to be careful in jam now don't confuse picking your options here you can see that your option says you can see a four and a five which is which if you don't look at your question correct your answers your, your answers options correctly you might pick this for the question say find the values of x and y respectively so since we have if x as 5 and y as 4, our correct option here is option D. In next question again from JAM, it's from JAM 2016. Question 42. It says solve for x and y respectively as this. So let's write this down. We have 3x minus 5y equal to 9, equation 1. 6x minus 4y equal to 12, equation 2. So here, let's try to cancel out y. So we'll multiply this side by 4 and this side by 5. So we have 12x minus 20y equal to 36. And also, 6 times 5, that's 30x minus 20y equal to 60. So here, to cancel this out, we we'll multiply this by a negative sign. If we multiply negative, this will give us a negative, this will turn to a positive, so this can cancel this, and this will be a negative. So this will cancel this. 12x minus 30x will give us a what? Minus 18x. Equal 36 minus 20x will give us a what? Minus 24. So we we'll divide both sides by minus 18, minus 18. So this will cancel this. So we're left with x. 6 can go. This, this will cancel. The negative will cancel out. 
So six will go here four times and in 18 also three times. So we have four over three. So here we put in the value of x, put in the value of x equal to four over three into equation one. So here, what do we have? This is equation one, three x minus five y equal to nine. So we have three multiplied by four over three minus five y equal to nine. This will cancel this. What are we left with? We are left with four minus five y equal to nine. So we're left with minus five y equal to bring four to the other side. We have nine minus four. So this is minus five y equal to five. Divide both sides by minus five. We have y is equal to minus one. So our answers is four x equal to four over three and y is equal to minus one. And what's our correct option? Option D. Here we have another question from jam 2011 question 15 it says solve for x respectively in the simultaneous equation so this is minus 2x minus 5y equal to 3 equation 1 and x plus 3y equal to 0 equation 2 so from here <clears throat> let's cancel out x so we have we multiply equation 1 by 1 and equation 2 by 2 so we have minus 2x minus 5y equal to 3 and 2x plus 6y equal to 0. 2 times 0 is 0. So here, what do we have? This can cancel that minus 2x plus 2x will cancel out. And we have minus 5y plus 6y, which will give us a y. And 3 plus 0 is 3. So just put in the value of y equal to 3 into equation 2 to make it easier so we have x plus 3y equal to 0 so we have x plus 3 times 3 equal to 0 so that is x plus 9 equal to 0 so x taking 9 to the other side we have what minus 9 so therefore our answer is x is equal to minus 9 and y is equal to 3 and that is option c Thank you for staying tuned to Destined to Win Tutorials. Please like, share and subscribe this video. You are destined to win.